Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for March 25th, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day, Principles. There are those in AA whom we call destructive critics. They power drive. They are politickers. They make accusations to gain their ends. All for the good of AA, of course. We ought to listen carefully to what they say. Sometimes they are telling the whole truth. At other times, a little truth. If they are talking nonsense, we could ignore it. Or else try to persuade them. There are few better means of self-survey and of developing patience than the workouts they usually well-meaning but erratic members so often afford us. Bill W., 12 Concepts for World Service, page 40. As Bill sees it, page 215. Thought to consider. Every problem arrives bearing a gift in its hands. Acronyms. Gifts. Getting it from the steps. Just for today. Decision. Step 3 made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood Him. Therefore, we who are alcoholics can consider ourselves fortunate indeed. Each of us has had his own near-fatal encounter with the juggernaut of self-will and has suffered enough under its weight to be willing to look for something better. So it is by circumstance rather than by any virtue that we have been driven to AA, have admitted defeat, have acquired the rudiments of faith, and now want to make a decision to turn our will and our lives over to a higher power. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, pages 37-38. Daily Reflections A Full and Thankful Heart I try to hold fast to the truth that a full and thankful heart cannot entertain great conceits. When brimming with gratitude, one's heartbeat must surely result in outgoing love, the finest emotion that we can ever know. As Bill sees it, page 37. I believe that we in Alcoholics Anonymous are fortunate in that we are constantly reminded of the need to be grateful and of how important gratitude is to our sobriety. I am truly grateful for the sobriety God has given me through the AA program and am glad I can give back what was given to me freely. I am grateful not only for sobriety but for the quality of life my sobriety has brought. God has been gracious enough to give me sober days and a life blessed with peace and contentment, as well as the ability to give and receive love and the opportunity to serve others in our fellowship, my family, and my community. For all of this, I have a full and thankful heart. As Bill sees it, Benefits of Responsibility Happily, AA's per capita expenses are very low. For us to fail to meet them would be to evade a responsibility beneficial for us. Most alcoholics have said they had no troubles that money would not cure. We are a group that when drinking always held out a hand for funds. So when we commence to pay our own service bills, this is a healthy change. Because of drinking, my friend Henry had lost a high salary job. There remained a fine house with a budget three times his reduced earnings. He could have rented the house for enough to carry it, but no. Henry said he knew that God wanted him to live there, and he would see that the costs were paid. So Henry went on running up bills and glowing with faith. Not surprisingly, his creditors finally took over the place. Henry can laugh about it now, having learned that God more often helps those who are willing to help themselves. Letter 1960, Letter 1966 Big Book Quote Yes, there is a substitute, and it is vastly more than that. It is a fellowship in Alcoholics Anonymous. There you will find release from care, boredom, and worry. Your imagination will be fired. Life will mean something at last. The most satisfactory years of your existence lie ahead. Alcoholics Anonymous, A Vision for You, page 152. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Strength comes from coming to believe in a higher power that can help you. You can't define this higher power, but you can see how it helps other alcoholics. You hear them talk about it, and you begin to get the idea yourself. You try praying in a quiet time each morning, and you begin to feel stronger, as though your prayers were heard. So you gradually come to believe there must be a power in the world outside yourself. 
which is stronger than you and to which you can turn for help. Am I receiving strength from my faith in a higher power? Meditation for the day. Spiritual development is achieved by daily persistence in living the way you believe God wants you to live. Like the wearing away of a stone by steady drops of water, so will your daily persistence wear away all the difficulties and gain spiritual success for you. Never falter in this daily steady persistence. Go forward boldly and unafraid. God will help and strengthen you as long as you are trying to do His will. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may persist day by day in gaining spiritual experience. I pray that I may make this a lifetime work. Hazleton Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Kurt L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.